Hey, what's up? This is Scout with Level Up Tuts, and today we're going to be talking about Plumber for Gulp. Now, in the last couple of videos, we set up a watch script and we compiled our SAS into CSS. Now, you may have noticed that if you were to mess up the syntax a little bit and saved your SAS code, that uh, your Gulp will just stop watching entirely and the process will end. Well, luckily we have Plumber to save the day, and Plumber is going to prevent Gulp from stop running just because there's an error somewhere in your code. So check it out, we're gonna get started with that. So in the last video, we set up this SAS watch. So it's now watching for changes in our CSS, and we have this running, and it's all good. Well, what happens if you go to save your CSS, or you go to save your SAS, and let's say for some reason you forget something stupid like a semicolon, and you just click save? Like me, I'm personally almost over uh, saving with my files. I'm always hitting Command S, Command S. It's almost like my fingers are trained to do that after I type something. And my typing in is always super accurate, so sometimes I make mistakes like this. And with Gulp, if you were to save this file, now let's actually check out our command, our terminal. We have this huge error, and it's stopped watching. It's basically saying, that isn't valid syntax. I don't know what to do. And because of that, Gulp has just stopped running. Now obviously this is unacceptable. We don't want anything like this to happen uh, because this would just be a huge pain when we're trying to write our code. So let's go ahead and add a Gulp package that takes care of this for us. And this is going to be the plumber node package. So like we've done before, we need to install a package and to do that we just need to type in npm install and then the package name. Since I know I have to type sudo as always, I'm going to be typing sudo npm install hyphen hyphen save hyphen dev and then we're going to be typing in gulp hyphen plumber just like that. So gulp hyphen plumber and I'm going to put the link to the node package in the description so you can visit this page and have this command that you can copy and paste if you'd like. Okay, that's going to ask for my password and I'm going to let that install. Okay, that's nice and easy. It's now installed into the project. Cool, so let's go ahead and use Gulp Plumber. To do that, likewise, we need to define plumber first as a variable. So in our little variable chain at the top here, I'm gonna add another comma at the end of sass. I'm going to say plumber, plumber equals require, and then like we've seen so far, it's just the name of the package. So gulp hyphen plumber, just like that. Now this is the best part of gulp plumber. All we have to do is to specify that we wanna use it at any task that we want to keep going if there's a problem. So let's go ahead and add it to our scripts first and we can say dot pipe. And then inside of this, uh, we need to say plumber and we're gonna run the plumber function. Now, notice how this is happening before everything else. I'm actually gonna go ahead and indent these just to make this a little nicer there. Okay, so now I'm gonna copy this line because we're gonna use the same exact line with our uh, SAS files. So right after the uh, uh, source function, or the source method here, before the SAS function, we're gonna put our plumber in. Again, I'm gonna indent these just like that. Okay, so now we're running this plumber first, and it's gonna make sure that nothing gets, uh, nothing gets gulp tripped up. Okay, so now let's rerun our, uh, actually let's fix that issue first with sass. Um, okay, now let's rerun our default gulp, just like that. Okay, it's watching everything. Now let's go ahead and make a large syntax error. I'm just gonna go ahead and look at, I just moved some stuff around. We got two semicolons in a row, none right here. So this is guaranteed to normally stop gulp in its tracks. I've saved it. However, it gives us a syntax error. It's great because you know it tells us line four, uh, there's a syntax error. Um, so I can go back and say, oh, okay, what's going on here, line four? Oh yeah, this is just a big mess. So let me undo that and then save it. 
And notice I'm not going to have to restart Gulp here like last time. If you go back over, it's already uh, already compiled our styles upon save. So Gulp Plumber is going to make your life a ton easier, and it's going to function like what you're used to with something like SAS Watch. So you can now make sure that Gulp continues to run until you tell it to stop. Now if you would like to tell Gulp to stop, all you have to do is hit Control C. So Control C is going to put an end to that process, and now Gulp is no longer running. Cool, so you now have a working environment that should be similar to what you're using with SAS Watch. You're compiling your SAS, and at changes, it's compiling and making CSS. That's excellent. Well, in the next few videos, we're going to go over some really awesome things like auto prefixer that adds in browser prefixes for you. Then you don't even have to worry about things like compass. You can just use SAS and it's going to automatically put the prefixes on your CSS. We're going to do things with live reload. We're going to compress images. We're going to do all sorts of great stuff. So keep watching. There's lots more gulp goodness to come. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tuts. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.